Hey everyone, welcome to the workshop. I'm James Otter of Otter Surfboards and in today's board rack briefing I'm going to talk you through the Bark model. This is one of our 7.2 mid lengths. It's 21 and 3 quarter inches wide and 2 and 3 quarter inches thick. It's got about 48 litres of volume in it. Um, this board sits almost bang in the middle of our, of our range of mid lengths that we do. So we have a 7.4 island hopper that's much fuller, wider, thicker. And then we have a 6.10 jetty, which is a bit thin, a little bit more foiled out, and a little bit narrower. And the reason this sits there is that we, it was a, originally it was a direct replica for a customer. And then we had quite a few customers, um, we didn't tell anyone that we'd made it, we had quite a few customers asking about the Island Hopper or the Jetty, they weren't sure which one to go for. And we decided to offer them this as an option. And it became so popular that we actually launched it as a shape a number of years ago. Um, and it's proved to be a real success for us. So you'll notice being a mid-length of ours and being in that slightly eggier shape, it's got quite this full, full front end. And that gives you a really nice stability when the waves are a bit mushy, a bit slack, gives you nice paddle speed because of all that volume under your chest. Um, and But then once you start to come down the board, you'll notice it does pull in a little bit more than maybe the other two, the other two um, of our of our eggs. And it um, that what that gives you is hold. So when you're in better waves, so once it creeps up to kind of four foot or so, it's going to give you much more ability to control the board and surf off the tail. Um, this board was made by Mike, um, Mike on one of our workshops, and he opted for the glass on thruster option for that exact reason. He's thinking about when the board's at its kind of best, kind of most performance. How am I going to control it best? And that's why he's opted for this thruster setup. We often fit it as a single fin. Um, it works quite well as a single fin. And of course, as well as glass ons, you can have either futures or FCS boxes as well. If you're thinking more about traveling with it, they're a really great option. Um, you can, like Mike, you can join us for five days to make it, or we can custom make one for you. When we look at the, the rocker line on this board, you'll notice um, that it's got a fairly relaxed, continuous rocker. Um, so that works well with that wide platform. It's all about stability, speed, ability to catch waves easily um, and just maximize any surf that you can kind of throw at it like we'll take this out in anything from kind of one to two foot and then anything up kind of four foot kind of head and a half or so I'd, I'd be quite comfortable on a board like this because of that paddle speed you're going to get into waves early um, but then because of that ability to control it off the tail you're going to feel nice and secure as well um, which is really nice it's something I love about this board is that that ability to catch lots of waves but then also turn it really nicely off the tail um, you'll notice the volume that 48 liters comes all the way out to the rails so the rails are relatively full um, which is for me I always quite enjoy that um, and then also it's quite foiled out towards the nose there's not too much bulk up the front end either once you get um, into turning it this board here has our high gloss finish um, and has our what we call our double sandwich layup, which is possibly one of our most popular um, popular options. Um, pretty stoked on this one. Looking forward to Mike coming to pick this one up and hearing about how he gets on with it. Uh, and I think that's about all I need to tell you about our bark. Um, if you have any further questions, just reach out. You can email us, call us, um, and you can follow more of these videos on our YouTube channel. Um, and we'll see you next time at the next Board Wrap Briefing.